and but it was the fact that it was so beautifully embodied by Tom Sturridge and Kirby Hal Baptiste that just it was death and it was dream and it was magical. Dreams and nightmares that I create and which I must control. He's out there looking for me, isn't he? Can you imagine the damage he could do? I need your help. If dreams disappear, then so will humanity. I could do without dreams for a while. I haven't had a decent night's sleep in ages. I'm not a star. I've spent the majority of the last 30 years stopping adaptations of Sandman and hoping that they didn't happen. So all of a sudden, here we were actually making an adaptation of Sandman and it was the adaptation of our dreams. We had the money to make it. We got to put together the cast of our dreams and then it was just a matter of not messing it up. And we, we I don't, really don't think we have messed it up. I'm really proud of what we've made. So it's been awesome. One of the things that the fans will be very familiar with, but new viewers are gonna find very, very strange is there's no episode of Sandman that's really like any other episode of Sandman. Some of them are gonna get really dark. Some of them are gonna be warm and human and inspiring. Some of them are gonna, you know, you're gonna go to hell and you're gonna go to a serial killers convention, but you're also gonna wind up in a little London pub. And it's just not going to be the same thing, but it's always going to take you to places you've never gone before. My creations do not walk amongst the living, killing mortals for pleasure. Oh, you don't think dreams can die? Let's find out. Nightmares do not belong in the waking world. Oh, it turns out I fit right in.